In a deep sense, AI is the technology that the world, that society, people have always wanted. Sci-fi has been talking about this for a very long time. I think we can do a lot to really maximize the good and manage and mitigate the bad, but the scary part is just sort of putting this lever into the world will for sure have unpredictable consequences. You know, we think it's very important to our mission to deploy things like ChatGPT so that people gain some experience and feeling of the capabilities and limitations of these systems. But as these models get to know you better and are able, capable of more, you can really imagine a world where you have a, a, a fairly simple and short conversation with the model and a huge amount of things get done on your behalf. Pretty soon, I think we'll just expect all the products and services we use to have some intelligence baked in, and it'll just kind of be expected like a mobile app is today. I think if this technology goes wrong, it can go quite wrong, uh, and we want to be vocal about that. We want to work with the government. To... It is our responsibility to educate policymakers and the public at large about what we think is happening, what we think may happen, likely to happen in the future, and to put technology out into the world so people can see it. We have seen how algorithmic biases can perpetuate discrimination and prejudice, and how the lack of transparency can undermine public trust. That voice was not mine. The words were not mine. And the audio was an AI voice cloning software trained on my floor speeches. The remarks were written by chat GPT when it was asked how I would open this hearing. We've so grown up in a world where we sort of trust someone's voice we hear over the phone. This particular example, I think, is going to be a problem and we need society to adjust to it fast. So I think we just all need to start telling people, this is coming, you can't trust a voice you hear over the phone anymore. And society is capable of adapting to this. People are much smarter and savvier than I think a lot of the so-called experts think. These systems are already quite powerful and will get tremendously powerful. And we have come together as a global community before for very powerful technologies that pose substantial risk that one has to overcome to get to the tremendous upside. I think AI will contribute a lot to increasing the total amount of wealth in the world. However, it won't be sufficient on its own and I still think we need much more public policy around how we're going to divvy up access to these systems, how we're going to divvy up governance of these systems. That will be a matter for policy, not the technology alone. The effects that AI have are going to be very different in the world than the effects that social media have. And so I think it is difficult and dangerous to say, oh, it's going to play out like this. And you know, we're going to think of this like social media. Or we're going to think of this like nuclear weapons. Or we're going to think of this like synthetic biology. Or we're going to think of this like the iPhone. This is just a new thing. And I think analogies from the past are going to particularly badly fail us this time around.